friends let's understand how to draw the digestive system in a simple way draw the face first then from the nose bring a tube down and from the mouth that is esophagus draw a C for stomach little bit stylish this is C when you draw this it becomes your stomach after stomach we need to draw the large intestine just draw a box like structure when you draw a box like structure it becomes very easy to draw now this is a cecum the sigmoidal colon just give a fold because the large intestine or the colon has small small bends now what we are going to do we are going to draw this a vermiform appendix now draw a pancreas it's a leaf like structure so we have drawn leaf somewhere in our school so that same leaf we need to draw now we need to draw the liver so it's very easy just put a triangular part with some blunt end and the gallbladder and while drawing small intestine just draw a tube coiled there is no fixed shape to the small intestine so you can draw in any way you want to now nose then we have mouth nose and mouth both are going to open at a common place that is called as pharynx the pharynx will lead to a food pipe that is called as esophagus which shows peristaltic movement then we have stomach which is j shaped structure and we have the liver the largest gland of the body we have pancreas which is a mixocrine gland which secretes exocrine as well as endocrine hormones we have large intestine it is smaller in size but the diameter is large then we have small intestine the small intestine is larger in size but diameter is small then we have rectum which is for collecting fecal matter then anus the stomach has a sphincter that is called as cardiac sphincter which is near the heart therefore it is called as cardiac sphincter which prevents the regurgitation of food then we have one more sphincter at the end of the stomach that is called as pyloric sphincter this pyloric sphincter prevents the movement of the acidic food slowly into the small intestine the next part that we have is the dome shape of part of the stomach that is called as fundus as the lower part is called as the body the stomach releases hcl pepsinogen and mucus this blind pouch like structure is called as cecum which is having vermiform appendix this vermiform appendix was functional earlier that was used to digest cellulose now we eat everything cooked so the appendix is not required the small intestine is basically divided into three parts so we call it as d j i d for duodenum stomach and small intestine are connected at duodenum 25 cm then we have jejunum that is 3.5 m and we have ileum which is 2.5 m the small intestine has finger like projections called villi that helps in the absorption of food the large intestine is also called as colon so we have different colons that is ascending colon which is meant for absorbing the water and the minerals then we have transverse colon the large intestine which runs downward is called as descending colon we have s shaped curve you can say colon that is called as sigmoidal colon so this part is called as sigmoidal colon there is one more sphincter present near the anus which is called as anal sphincter there is salivary gland present in the mouth it, there are three pairs of salivary gland one that is present near the ear it is called as parotid gland one below the tongue called as sublingual salivary gland and other one near the mandible which is called as submandibular salivary gland hope you have understood the diagram for digestive system of human being do subscribe to the channel for more such easy methods of drawing the diagram 
लाइक एंड शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स थैंक यू वेरी मच